Ever wondered what makes AI models like ChatGPT or self-driving cars so unbelievably fast? It's not just clever code, it's special hardware built to think differently. Today on Knowledge Hub, we're diving inside AI chips, like NVIDIA's incredible H200, to uncover how they actually work. Let's start with the basics. Traditional CPUs are like versatile office workers, great at multitasking and general-purpose computing, but when it comes to deep learning, they simply can't keep up. That's because AI workloads require massive amounts of parallel computation, performing billions of matrix multiplications and tensor operations at once. Unlike CPUs, GPUs are designed for this. They contain thousands of small cores that can process multiple data streams simultaneously, a principle called massive parallelism. This makes them ideal for training neural networks, where the same operation must be applied across millions of data points. The NVIDIA H200 GPU, based on the Hopper architecture, takes this to an entirely new level. Inside the chip are over 80 billion transistors, carefully arranged into streaming multiprocessors packed with tensor cores, purpose-built engines for AI math. These tensor cores handle mixed precision calculations using formats like FP8, FP16, BF16, and FP32, offering the perfect balance between speed and accuracy. FP8, or 8-bit floating point, allows for much faster computation and lower power consumption while still keeping model quality high, a game-changer for massive AI models like GPT-4 or Gemini. Now let's talk about memory, the true bottleneck. The H200 is the first GPU equipped with 141 gigabytes of next-gen HBM3E memory, providing up to 4.8 terabytes per second of bandwidth. That's nearly double the bandwidth of its predecessor, the H100. This ultra-fast memory allows the GPU to feed data to its cores almost instantly, drastically reducing latency during training and inference. In other words, the H200 can keep all its thousands of cores busy at all times, no waiting around for data, but these chips rarely work alone. In AI data centers, hundreds or even thousands of H200s are linked together through NVIDIA's NVLink and NVSwitch technologies, forming what's known as a GPU cluster. NVLink provides ultra-fast, low-latency communication between GPUs, enabling them to act like one enormous distributed supercomputer. That's how companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google train models with trillions of parameters, multiple GPUs working in harmony, exchanging data at lightning speed. So why are AI chips like the H200 so much better than normal chips? Because they're purpose-built for AI. A standard CPU might be fast at logic and branching tasks, but it's limited to a few cores and sequential processing. The H200, by contrast, can handle tens of thousands of operations at once, accelerating tasks like matrix multiplication, convolution, and attention mechanisms that dominate modern neural networks. Add to that its specialized tensor cores, massive memory bandwidth, and AI-optimized software stack, and you get a chip designed not for general computing, but for intelligent computing. And the H200 isn't alone in this race. Competing AI chips include AMD's Instinct MI300X, which uses 192GB of HBM3 memory and is optimized for large language models, and Google's TPU V5P, custom-built for Google Cloud AI workloads. Meanwhile, Intel's Gaudi 3 accelerators are gaining attention for efficient AI inference at lower power. But the H200 stands out for its balanced blend of performance, scalability, and mature software ecosystem through NVIDIA's CUDA and Transformer Engine, tools that fine-tune computations dynamically to extract maximum speed and efficiency from every model. So in short, AI chips like the H200 combine thousands of parallel cores, ultra-fast memory, precision-optimized tensor cores, and high-speed interconnects to create a super brain dedicated to deep learning. They're not just graphics cards anymore, they're the engines powering the entire AI revolution.
If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to understand the technology shaping our future, make sure to subscribe to Knowledge Hub for more deep dives. And as always, stay curious.